there's only one love if it's torture Don't say I didn't, say I didn't warn ya It's Jackie and for today's tutorial I'm recreating Taylor Swift's blank space makeup look and I love this look It's very dramatic So if you're looking for something very bold for prom this might be your look And if you haven't seen my sing and style video where I covered blank space and I have a whole fashion Music video inspired by Taylor then check that out. I have a link down below But anyways, let's get started with the makeup starting with a bare moisturized face Mix in a highlighter to your favorite foundation for extra brightness. Use a damp beauty blender and stipple the mix onto your face. The high beam is optional, but I love how the CoverGirl Clean Foundation and the highlighter looks together on the skin. Now as always, I'm using my Laura Mercier Under Eye Concealer to add extra coverage in areas that I have more redness in my skin, darkness, or just parts of the face that I want highlighted. Make sure to work in thin layers and really take the time to blend the products out. Prime your lids before shadows, and now I'm going to set the highlighted areas with a translucent powder so it stays matte and in place all day. With a soft bronzer, I'm lightly adding some shape to my face. I wouldn't say it's a heavy duty contour or anything, it's super subtle and the bronzer warms up the face. And then I love to define my nose and slim it down a little bit. Taking an ashier grey-brown shadow, I work from the eye socket to about halfway down the bridge of my nose. Then I define the tip and a shadow underneath my nose for a shorter looking nose. And this part is personal preference for me, but Taylor did have some contouring. Here I'm softening the contour, and it still looks harsh, but once the rest of the makeup is done, it'll look a lot more subtle. And then for blush, I used a natural pinky peach, and I applied it to the apples of my cheeks keeping the blush a little bit lower onto my cheeks rather than going all the way to my temples. Next is brows. I'm using my Annabelle Skinny Brow Liner and I love this stuff and I'm softly filling in my natural shape and defining them a little bit. Taylor has blonde brows so and they're usually covered by her bangs as well so I just went with brows that suited me. The first shadow I'm using is Floof and I'm applying this to the inner half of my lid. You can use a matte white, but I didn't have one that I thought was as pigmented as this shadow, so I just went with a little bit of sheen. Next, take a medium gray or gray brown and shade along the inner half of the crease, as well as right next to the inner corner on your lid for some shadowing and dimension. I'm using Quarry by MAC as a base shade for my crease and I'm blending upwards to the brow bone. Now we are going to create a cool shape with the shadow. I'm using Satin Taupe by MAC and I'm creating a diagonal across my lid to the center and then I'm sculpting out my crease halfway for a soft cut crease look. Blend the Satin Taupe shadow upwards following a V shape to the outer corner. Now we are just building up the intensity. First I went in with Contrast, which is a matte navy blue shade, and it's pretty simple. I'm just following the same steps I did with Satin Taupe, but I'm keeping it a little bit more concentrated. I go in and blend it out, and then I'm adding Carbon, and again doing the same thing, keeping it along a diagonal, and then I'm going and creating a soft cut crease. And then I used Dazzleite as my brow bone highlight, and I tapped on a little bit more to my lid to brighten it up. Now that shadows are done, liner starts to really pull the look together, so follow the shape we've already created, and when you're coming and connecting the line from the lash line to the wing, keep it pretty thin from the tear duct to about halfway, and then start to build up the thickness.
I smoked out the liner a little bit with Carpen again, and then under the lash line, I'm lining my eyes with Deep Truth by MAC, which is a brighter navy blue. To keep the eyes wide and open and to replicate her look, extend the line underneath the tear duct a little bit, and then add some black coal liner into the lash line if you want to deepen it up, and now just curl and apply some mascara. Now go for a bold red lip. I used Fire Engine by Gerard Cosmetics, but another one of my favorites, of course, is Russian Red by MAC. The classic red lip to me is the hardest step because you want the line to be crisp, and I actually overlined my top lip on accident, which makes that a little bit harder, but I just went with it, and next add a little bit of gloss to the center of your lip. Get out of this town, drive out of the city, away from the crowds, I thought heaven can't help me now. You can leave the look like this, but I wanted to add some falsies to replicate her look. Hers kind of flared out at the end, and I only use duo glue for this, it's the only glue I trust, and then I use tweezers. And for finishing touches, I added a little bit more flur power once all the colors were on my face, and then I blended the false lashes in with a little bit more mascara. Of course, we gotta do the finger trick to get the excess lipstick off of our lips so it doesn't end up on our teeth. And there you go, there is the completed Taylor Swift blank space lips. Magic, madness, heaven, sin. Saw you there and I thought, oh my god, look at that face. You look like my next mistake. Love's a game, wanna play. Thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also you can let me know in the comments if you have any other requests and you can find in the down bar all the products used, all the songs, as well as my social media links. So check out my Twitter and Instagram and follow me to stay updated and I'll see you guys in my next video.